SPM, Form 5, Physics. Chapter 3, Electromagnetism. In this video, we will summarize the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 3, Electromagnetism in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn and understand more about electromagnetism. There are six main sections in this chapter. 3.1, magnetic effect of a current carrying conductor. 3.2, the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. 3.3, electromagnetic induction. 3.4, direct current and alternating current. 3.5, transformers. 3.6, Generation and Transmission of Electricity. In Section 3.1, we will learn about the magnetic effect of a current carrying conductor. At the end of this section, you should be able to state what an electromagnet is, draw the magnetic field pattern due to a current in a straight wire, coil and solenoid, plan and conduct experiments to study factors that affect the strength of the magnetic field of an electromagnet. Describe applications of electromagnets. In section 3.2, we will learn about the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe what happens to a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Draw the pattern of the combined magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field and describe how a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field experiences a force. Explain the factors that affect the magnitude of the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Describe how a current carrying coil in a magnetic field experiences a turning force. Describe how a direct current motor works and state factors that affect the speed of rotation of an electric motor. In section 3.3, we will learn about electromagnetic induction. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe electromagnetic induction. Indicate the direction of the induced current in a straight wire and solenoid and explain factors that affect the magnitude of the induced current. Describe applications of electromagnetic induction. In section 3.4, we will learn about direct current and alternating current. At the end of this section, you should be able to compare direct current and alternating current. In section 3.5, we will learn about transformers. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe the structure and the operating principle of a simple transformer. Compare and contrast a step-up transformer and a step-down transformer. State that Vs over Vp equal to Ns over Np for an ideal transformer and state that power of primer coils equal to power of secondary coils for an ideal transformer. Describe the energy losses in a transformer. Describe ways to improve the efficiency of a transformer and solve problems involving transformers. At the end of this chapter, section 3.6, we will learn about the generation and transmission of electricity. At the end of this section, you should be able to list sources of energy used to generate electricity. Describe the various ways of generating electricity. Describe the transmission of electricity. Describe the energy loss in electricity transmission cables and deduce the advantage of high voltage transmission. State the importance of the national grid network and solve problems involving electricity transmission. Explain the importance of renewable energy and explain the effects on the environment caused by the use of various sources to generate electricity. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.